Before we move on to talking about PIX4D, let's discuss in detail the outputs that we are going to generate. These are the basic outputs that you will need to further process, analyze, and generate reports for your clients. First, the ortho mosaic. An ortho mosaic, ortho photograph, or ortho image is an aerial photograph or image geometrically corrected or ortho rectified such that the scale is uniform, that is, the photo does not have any distortion just like a satellite map. Here are some individual images of the project we captured. You can clearly see the overlap between consecutive images. And here is the ortho mosaic. Let's zoom into this and see how clear the resolution is. The ortho mosaic is stitched together using a high number of matches or key points, which are usually more than a thousand between any two images that have overlap. Unlike an uncorrected aerial photograph, an ortho mosaic can be used to measure true distances because it is an accurate representation of the Earth's surface having been adjusted for topographic relief, lens distortion, and camera tilt. The next important output we generate is the digital elevation model. A digital elevation model, or DEM, is a digital model or a 3D representation of the terrain surface. There are two types of digital elevation models. First, the digital surface model or DSM. This represents the surface with all objects on it. For example, buildings, trees and other structures. Here's a DSM with the objects. You can clearly see that all the objects have been mapped. These are some trees and here are some buildings. Basically, the DSM captures the elevations of all the objects on the terrain. A digital terrain model, or DTM, however, represents the bare ground surface without any objects, like trees and buildings. Here's an example of a DTM. Here, all the objects have been removed from the model. Most clients will expect the terrain model of areas especially which have vegetation on them. This helps with accurate creation of contours, which is critical for planning and designing projects such as land development, irrigation planning, and rainwater harvesting. So, what are contours? Contour lines are lines which connect points of equal elevation on the map. They quantify the elevation at any point on the map. Contour intervals can be chosen based on the project requirement. This is an example of what contours look like. As you can see, this entire line connects all the points of the same elevation value 669 meters above sea level. The contour interval here is 0.5 meters. Contours are a great way of visualizing how steep the elevation differences are. The closer the contours are, the more steep is the elevation difference. You can clearly see here that the contour lines are very close to each other. This is definitely a very steep elevation difference over a short distance. Here are the contours overlaid on the ortho mosaic. Now this is a great way to visualize the elevation differences and you cannot get this kind of visualization with traditional surveying methods. Also, in a drone survey, the contour intervals can be generated as small as 10 centimeters. Creating such contour maps using traditional surveying methods is near impossible. A 3D model is a representation of any three-dimensional surface of an object via specialized software. It can be displayed as a two-dimensional image through a process called 3D rendering. It represents the physical body using a collection of points in 3D space. Now this is a 3D model of the same building that we captured oblique images for. You can zoom in, zoom out, orbit around and pan across. This is a great visualization tool to get different realistic perspectives of the object of interest. A point cloud is a very dense set of data points in a given coordinate system. The x, y and z position 
and the color information is stored for each point of the point cloud. It represents the external surfaces of any 3D object or terrain. Here is an example of a densified point cloud of a terrain represented in AutoCAD. 